check out this video from Sky Drone 12 of Connecticut Light off of the Warwick Coast. This lighthouse is often featured in tourism videos and magazines promoting Rhode Island tourism. It's a Rhode Island icon. The lighthouse has fallen into disrepair in recent years, but local officials are looking for money to fix it. 12 News meteorologist TJ Del Santo gives us a closer look. It's more than 130 years old and it needs a facelift. The city of Warwick is looking for money to rehab the Connecticut Lighthouse. About a half mile off the Warwick coast is the Connecticut Shoals Lighthouse. The lighthouse was actually established in 1868. Uh, the current structure dates back to 1883. It was fully automated in 1963 and is now powered by solar panels. It's an aid to navigation. Like I said, it, was, it does have a light in it. Currently active, the Coast Guard uses and services. And there's also a NOAA weather station in the structure as well that's active and in use for uh, tide gauges, wind, etc. So Warwick bought the historic beacon about 17 years ago, but it has been decades since the lighthouse has any significant improvements. 12 News got an exclusive look inside in 2016. A half million dollar federal grant to make repairs never materialized. Storms, waves, and its age continue to take their toll on this visual icon of Rhode Island. Uh, the paint is, is chipping and fading on the outside. We're missing some railings. Uh, the jetty, the boat jetty that goes in is, is uh, s you know, slowly uh, getting in disrepair. There's some metal missing and, and, you know, we just need to get it safe. It's just been let go for too long and, and we, just can't, we just can't let it go any further. Warwick has applied for a community project funding grant through Congressman Jim Langevin's office. From the governor's office, from um, Speaker of the House, many legislators, not just people here in Warwick that care about it. The city has asked for $775,000 in federal money. It's estimated the project will cost $1 million. The rest will be made up through other grants and city funding. And we want to preserve this lighthouse as part of Warwick's history. We want to make sure it's part of Warwick's future. Warwick officials hope to visit the lighthouse in the next couple of weeks so they know exactly what needs to be done so that if and when they do get the money, they can start the renovations right away. I'm TJ Del Santo, 12 News.